Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. If you're watching this on Instagram, the full video will be on Instagram too. If you're on YouTube, thank you for being here. Thank you for returning. Um, we are about to just do a quick weekly video. Um, I'm just pull a couple of cards for each day, talk about the placement of the moon on each day and what's going on for us, the things it is that we can expect and, you know, what's going down. I hope that y'all had a really beautiful start to y'all's week. I had a very interesting start to my week. It, going to talk about it during kitchen conversation this Sunday, you know, because I have a lot to share. It's very interesting, y'all. I kind of got the chills thinking about it, all right? The moon, and it's interesting because the moon is in cancer today, and it was a lot about um, just feminine and motherly energies and how that is showing up in the world and what that is doing. So, and more so how it's manifesting and what that is looking like. So it's definitely the kitchen conversation is going to be kind of a continuation of the stuff that I was talking about this Sunday, like this past Sunday, if you watch that. If you haven't, take a listen. You can learn some things about me if you are interested in learning anything about me. If not, it is um, a couple of uh, recipes that you can try for yourself. I left, you know, I, I cooked everything uh, from start to finish on the video. So, yes, I hope that that inspires you guys to provide your own sense of self-nourishment. You know, just put you a tortilla in the oven with some tomato sauce and cheese if that's all you got. All right. <laughs> yes. So um, for this week. This week, we have a, a full moon on Sunday and a lot of things as far as relationships and it's in Libra and it's going to be opposite the sun that's in Aries. So just a lot about ourselves, our personal sense of um, identity, our sovereignty within that, um, you know, really connecting with people, relationships with others. Um, and how it is that that is manifesting in our life and what that looks like. This is going to be opposite Chiron, right? The sun is going to be conjunct Chiron on this. Let me see. Yeah, the sun, Venus, and Chiron are all going to be conjunct one another during this full moon. So we'll talk about that, see what the cards have to say about that. It's very interesting. I have this face because it has me thinking about the things it is that I've been experiencing today and how that just fits into this astrological makeup of things. But let's just get into this. I don't want this to be too long. Um, and, you know, just, yeah, let's see what's going on. So today, uh, at the time I'm recording this, it is 8.48 p.m. Um, and I think I'm gonna start recording my videos at night. Oh, also Libra, Libra, air signs and water signs. You guys can expect your spring equinox videos tomorrow. I'm gonna just record both of them tomorrow and share them to you guys, share them with you guys. I was just really busy today. Um, a lot of my focus uh, was into these things that I have been like connecting about, talking about and all of that. So, um, and if I don't get the water signs out tomorrow, then they'll be there on Wednesday. Okay. So today we had a moon in Cancer. So the moon is at home in Cancer. It is, that is very a four cups energy. You know, you could have been feeling, wanting to rest, wanting to just, um, nurture and nourish yourself that could have been some type of inspiration you may have had any type of connections with women um that were that seemed very loving very connecting uh you know having the space to be very vulnerable within yourself with these people feel like you can trust like you can let your guard down um uh, perhaps uh, may have even been clearing up some confusion some disillusionment as well you know, and really breaking through of the changes that are happening 
within the world on this earth right now at this time in regards to uh universal energies you know and collective energies and how it is that that is shifting our reality you know and how we go about viewing things when it comes to our values and all of those whatnots so let us take a look and see what the cards have to say for us on this lovely monday this restful monday and perhaps you may have recognized some gift of yours that you have um kind of been sleeping on you know and kind of waking up to it and, and, and seeing a new perspective of it and, you know just thinking of things differently but from on a very um spiritual cosmic kind of level you know very um as a worldly you know so monday spirit what energy what would you like for us to talk about you no know, as far as this monday energy as we're closing out here on monday what is going on here on this Monday. So we have, can y'all see that? Okay, there it goes. So you have the full card this week on today. So something is starting, something new has begun. Um, it's been, you know, there has been this moment where we have been in this space of basically deciding to do something new and we've finally taken that leap taking that jump to go ahead and do it and taking this journey to we don't know where yet you know but it is definitely going to lead us there it's important that we stay in a sense of faith um and this is very heart-based heart-centered as well so anything that begins in the heart um there's this saying if it if it starts bad it'll end bad if it starts well it'll end well you know and at times it, well, things that start well usually don't end you know because they feel good to be in so yes we have a full card here a lot of god energy here a lot of um uh infinite consciousness has guided us to where it is this this choice it is that we've made to take and go forth on this this journey this path it is that we are about to um, embark on okay and really just take our time in seeing things you know from a much greater perspective than we ever have we are about to grow up in a sense you know very go into the space of maturing um and really just trusting in in our hearts and what it is that we're choosing to do in moving forward in that okay so let's see tomorrow the sun the sun the moon will be in will still be in cancer it'll be in a void of course energy um in cancer like around afternoon afternoon so it'll be in cancer for a majority of the day until it prepares to go into leo later on in the evening so at this point um with this still having this cancer energy halfway through the day we'll be moving through any old type of um structures it is that we've been holding on to in regards to our um our, our sense of security of self more than anything but also within our life um something may be coming to us as well like especially like say for instance you waiting on your taxes you waiting on your stimulus check that may come to you tomorrow you may get that deposit or get that check in the mail however that's coming through for you but um that energy might be very prominent uh, we may also be just feeling and seeing a lot of depth within um, how it is that we've been going about playing the game, you know, and the the what it is that we've been choosing to align to and how it is that we've been perceiving these things and how it is that we've been choosing to feel about these things. Um, and we may be getting a lot of psychic downloads in regards to the truth of the matter. Okay, so let's see what is here for Tuesday Spirit. And later on in the evening, um, you know, will our energy have, you know, be ramping back up? It'll be an ex self-expressive Leo, you know, just really ready to um, take take it for what it's worth, 
kind of thing. You know, Leo likes things to um, be fun, exuberant, uh, light, um, like things to not be so serious, to be able to tap into the, your inner child energy and to really just be having fun. Right, and it's going to be making this trine to all of this Aries energy. It'll be later on in the evening. So the children <laughs> might be hyped up before bed, right? Trying to stay up late and all of those things. But we are coming aligned to what it is that we value on a very personal level, okay? And really feeling confident in expressing ourselves because the, the sun is in Aries and, Aries, uh, and the sun is the ruler of leo i don't know if you ever met a leo moon but they do not hesitate on anything it is that they have to say my husband is a leo moon and he don't care <laughs> okay <laughs> he's just straight to the point with it straight to the head and you know if it's it it's just it is what it is that's it that's all okay so um with the sun being in aries it, the energy might be kind of ramped up and you may be experiencing some people really um expressing themselves like feeling very confident all right you got we got the seven of swords here on tuesday so we are really we're coming out of this this self-deception Right, we're no longer seeing ourselves in anything other than the truth. We are aligning with nothing other than the truth and what that truth means to us, what it what it feels like for us, you know. Um, and and it's it's really about coming out of that energy of a feeling as if um, we can't trust because we're finding out that we can if only we so choose to be ourselves right when you be yourself when you choose yourself you find other people who are choosing themselves as well and you find love there so that's what's happening here we're healing a lot of wounds coming up over these next uh two days tuesday and wednesday because on all of wednesday the moon will still be in leo right and it's going to um come into this this, this connection with chiron so we're going to be moving through um, anything it is that we've been feeling about ourselves up until this point that has been um, holding us back, making us small, making us shrink. And when Leo and Aries get together, it's no smallness, okay? It's no smallness. You cannot hide. The light is out. The light is shining and it's, it's bright, all right? It's, it's, no way, it's no way around it. So um, it'll also be... Uh, we'll have some work to do though because what it how it is that we're showing up as ourselves we're, we're going to probably be recognizing what it is that we actually want to do uh for our larger goal um making choices that is going to align to our destiny you know um things that are, are going to present us the fate it is that we are actually desiring to have within our life you know and this is also um uh cultivating a sense of autonomy in regards to what we operate in the structure that we're operating in all right so we're letting go of how we've been feeling about ourselves right and like oh, okay well this is what i'm gonna do with this energy this is what i'm gonna do with being me right and through that moving through any type of blockages um, recognizing any type of limitations that we've been putting on our own sense of freedom, you know, based off of the, the laws, the, the rules that we've taken in in regards to living life and attaining our what it is that we want our goals right we may even be meeting some friends also that um making some friends that that really resonate uh with us in regards to this too wednesday spirit what's going on, on wednesday <laughs> got the temperance energy here so this is all about goals you know going after what it is that we want being on the path being sure about where it is that we're heading but also taking our time doing that recognizing what is true uh reanalyzing our beliefs so that they are in alignment 
with what it is that actually needs to be so it can serve us in a way that um, allows us to align to uh, what is going to be long term for us right and that is that energy is going to flow over into thursday because on thursday the moon will still be in leo pretty much the entire day right and it'll be in connection with jupiter tuesday already coming out we're making friends y'all on thursday coming together celebrating feeling good we got the three of cups here you know really um uh you know, just really moving beyond any um, any sense of uh, like we don't have, like we um, like what we have right now is not enough to be celebrated because it is. It's it's always all about perspective, right? And then when your perspective shifts, it opens up a, a portal, an energy field for you to be able to draw more in of what it is that you want, more it is, more of what it is that um, the excitement it is that you want in your life, you know, it's really all up to you. It, it's always, a, it's always personal, you know, so this will also um, be, because that's a really early, um, on Thursday, but we'll also be integrating these lessons it is that we've been learning while we've had this Pisces moon energy. So the sun just came out of Pisces, right? And Mercury is there, Neptune is there. And this is really, we are taking cosmic knowledge and bringing that forward into our heart-based self-expression. And being able to really um, connect and, and just love people from a very unconditional place, no matter what, no matter kind of, in a sense, no matter what it has been, but at the same time, also seeing, in the, like bringing in these realizations, these, uh, these deceptions, it is that the, that have come to light, these hidden things that we weren't aware of, um, and allowing us to be a little bit more focused on what is just really true and really real for us. Um, focusing on our own personal joy, our own personal happiness, um, just staying in our own sphere really in within the realm of those that we love, you know, and um, cultivating a new heart space or I should say more room in our heart spaces for um, understanding and forgiveness of things, you know? So let's see what else is here. Okay, and so we are also bringing in um, these, these downloads it is that we received while the moon was in Cancer, you know, and really integrating our own rules to the game right because leo is not doing anything leo doesn't care about what anybody else um has to say honestly if it don't make them feel good if it don't bring them joy fulfillment happiness if they can't be the ecstatic exuberant expressive energy it is that they are then they they not having it you know um that you know that fire energy burns up anything in its way in its path it's like <laughs> what you thought this was you know so let's see what else is here we don't come up out of thursday because that's pretty much the rest of the energy so on friday the moon will be in virgo um, it'll be void, of course, early, early in the morning when people still sleep, unless you get up at like three o'clock to go to work or something. But um, we'll be, so Virgo, when the moon is in Virgo, this is us being really focused on our routines, our health, really taking care of ourselves, making things, making sure things are in order. You know, we are seeing things a little bit more with a, like a more, um, astute eye I guess that's the word to say and being able to uh, rework and edit anything it is that 
it's not really um, working. So we can work efficiently so that we can um, attain and gain the stability it is that we're desiring, you know, getting things in order. I know I really like when the moon is in Virgo because I usually I always tend to use that. That's usually that time of the month for me where I like deep clean everything, which is going to be good because the full moon is going to be in Libra and I'm going to take advantage of that energy, you know? So, um, yes, we will be ushering in that individual nature, that innovative nature, that self realized nature into what it is that we really want. Um, our day-to-day -day lives to look like, what, how we practically, it, because Virgo was about life, literally, it's about everyday life, the, the simple mundane things that you do throughout life, so we're, we're really bringing in how it is that we feel, how it is that we want our out what world to look and how we want to operate in it on a daily basis, we're bringing that in, it's going to be, um, you know, it's unto the self, honestly, and we'll also be having um, some really benevolent energy with that Uranus and Taurus energy, and um, we may really just be flowing, that may bring some changes to our routines as well, especially because we are, we are at this time with Pisces, with the timing of where all the energy is, like the shifts are happening so quickly, things are happening really fast for us, if we're paying attention and taking the steps, and doing whatever it is that we are meant to do for ourselves, right? So this is um, basically ushering in that, that shift that is being called to be had in regards to our values, um, our sense of self-worth, moving out of any self-doubt and be, that being reflected through our lives, through our day-to-day -day life, you know, and really ushering in and integrating those new rules that we set for ourselves while um the moon was in leo and had that opposition with the saturn you know and you know we playing by our rules at this point the sun is in aries <laughs> venus is in aries is you know we telling ourselves you can have whatever you like like literally all you got to do is get up every day and do whatever it is that you need to be doing for yourself to, in order to make that happen and for it to be consistent okay so friday we have the two of cups here and the two of cups this is um soul union wow so this is like um uh, so this can be soulmates um being connected like we could be connecting with new people in our life um new connections feeling very bonded with um people who in from a very loving space you know and this can also speak to a lot of um a connection of the self returning back to a sense of wholeness with that with that aries energy being integrated with the venus energy that is literally like a return to wholeness right because this is um how you want to express yourself your personal in your own personal right and how it is that you're going to go about doing that every single day committing to that every single day so that you can find that success it is that Aries really wants to achieve, right? And then in connection with this whole Venus and Aries energy, making it beautiful, all right? Beauty or nothing at all. <laughs> so in, in Virgos, you know, they like it to be pristine. They like it, no hair out of place, okay? No lash out of place. No, the fix your shirt, fix your collar. Look, let me fix this collar. It's doing something. But yeah, it the, the changes are definitely shifting. And but see, if you are already in this space where you um so when we have benevolent energy, if you are already in a space where things aren't really flowing, going, where you're not taking any type of um care. <laughs> In regards to wherever that benevolent energy is, it's just going to exasperate that. So you will just have more of that and you will go through this entire cycle until the moon comes back around if it 
can have the opportunity to link back up like this to redo it again, right? So, but for if you have already been doing it, it's really gonna support you in being able to um, get the best and the most out of that energy, right? And then we're gonna have a little um, t intensity with, we're gonna have to do some work, all right? We're gonna have to see things, uh what's what uh routines need to change in regards to getting to our our goals where we're going we may have to make some new choices um let go of some things we may be connecting with new people again we have a lot of connection going on this week especially when it comes to new people you know and also building um building a bridge between our minds and what it is that we have to do every day in our life for success, you know, and also, um, we may also be recognizing how it is that we are about to, that we want to within ourselves, within our heart, how we want to show up and be of service to others. You know, how is this going to, but how is it going to help us on a collective level, like as a whole, not just a, it's not a, this is how I think it should be done. So you should do it this way kind of energy. It's more of what do the people need? What do we need? Well, how, how are we going to make this right? How are we going to fix this? Because Virgo is the fixer. All right. So let's see what else. And that is it. Virgo will be, the moon will be in Virgo on Saturday as well. And um. We may have a little bit of disillusionment come during the day on Saturday, or it may be, we may be feeling very sensitive on this day. Um, you know, cause it, we may be seeing things a little bit more clearly or it, some confusion may be happening based on the fact that we don't see things as clear as they are, but it is really within taking care of yourself still keeping it's like it's almost like even though it's Saturday still get up and do what it is that you do during the week don't don't let the days of the week dictate what it is that you choose to get up and do granted I'm not saying that for everybody because I know some people work all week and then want to relax on the weekend but even still once you finally do get up still get up and take care of yourself do your regular routine duties because that'll help you um, really cut through the fog of whatever it is that shows up, especially when it comes to relationships. And then um, and we'll be bringing in, bringing forth into our world um, the expansion of um of a kind of, in a sense, our our personal path. We're looking at this on a personal level. Our personal paths and what it is that that how that looks, how we want that to be, and what has to be done in order to make it look like that. How do we expand? How do we make it big? How do we make it grand? You know, how do we make it fun? How do we make it free? Um, how do we keep it light? you know, without having to bog down ourselves with so many serious things, you know, Virgo can be very serious about things, just sometimes taking things way too seriously, you know, because they're always trying to fix things, always trying to make it better, which is a wonderful thing, but it is that making it better energy that's going to support in um, support us on the journey and really being able to build that stability with that Jupiter in uh, Uranus. I mean, Jupiter in Aquarius energy, which can be kind of flighty in a sense, like really focused on the self and not thinking about it's some very self oriented energy um, similar to Aries. What is here on Saturday Spirit? And then things will be transforming for us as well. We will, um, you know, be seeing things, especially in regards to structure. We'll be seeing um, what needs to be reborn, rebirthed within ourselves, within our lives, um, and how we're going to build things a little bit better moving forward. 
Wow. Okay. So Saturday two cards came out and we got the justice card and the ace of cups. So this, these new emotions, it is that we've been cultivating over the week. We are feeling um, justified in it. You know, we are finding they are bringing balance to us. They are bringing harmony into our world. They are supporting us and walking through a new door in which um, we possibly have been trying to get into for a very long time. Um, not a very long time, but she, you know, some time. So, um, you know, it, it's almost like we're having a very faded experience. Um, come the 27th, we're getting ready for this, this moon in uh, Libra. This justice card is Libra energy. And we're taking these, these feelings, these intuitive knowings and allowing that to support us in making work happen, making life happen, making relationships happen, but also um, it may also be bringing a new opportunity that's offering you some sense of just do, you know, that is uh, going to be very um, heart-based, emotionally guided, like people, it's like this person or these people are feeling like they resonate with you on a, um, on what matters level, on what it is that we need to bring balance and harmony to the world. You know, very, um, very moon in Virgo, uh, King Kunx, Jupiter in Aquarius kind of energy. You know, what work needs to be done for the people to heal? What needs to be done so we can heal this? Like, it's almost like a, we can't keep going on like this <laughs> because when the moon, when we have this full moon um, on Sunday, all right, shit might hit the fan. It just might hit the fan because the moon will be in, um, yeah, so we have this full moon about two o'clock. Oh. Okay, a little bit before two o'clock, but it'll be opposite the sun, Chiron, and Venus. All right, so this is really this is about relationships and connections, and but also our sense of worth and value. And are we being valued in our relationships? Are we? Um, do we find our relationships worthy? Do we value? our relationships you know are we feeling comfortable in being able to express ourselves do we feel like we're being be that we're able to heal within our relationships do we feel like that we are able to um really move through any old old baggage do these relationships continue to trigger us in a way that that puts us in a space of like a downward spiral right because um or do they bring lightness? Do they bring joy, happiness, fulfillment into our world? Do they uh, support our sovereignty, our sovereign nature? You know, and the, the, the shift will happen because we'll be calling in, aligning to this Uranus and Taurus energy that is, you know, ultimately the ultimate shifter of your values, of what it is that you find worthy, of um, what it is that you, you know, how you see your possessions, how you connect to that energy, you know, how it is that you actually want to go about living your life on this earth and what that means, especially in relation to connection with other people, you know, and this also supporting us in ushering in the experiences that um, we would like to have in taking place as we move forward on our path, on our journey, on our destinies, um, on our goals, you know, and what it is that we want. And <clears throat> we are also finding it much more easier to move through any type of limits, it is that we have kind of been, uh, that's been coming up for us, um, especially in regards to our freedom and things that have been holding us back based on any type of laws, rules um, that have been placed up on us, not ones that we uh, chose on our own, right? So what energy do you have for a spirit on Sunday? The day of this Libra full moon, what energy do we have for us on Sunday? Libra full moon. 
the hermit. So yeah, we'll be taking some time to see that inner light, to really connect to what um, what is valuable for us, what it is that 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 means well for us, what um, presents us and puts us in a place to live a healthy life um, that is going to continue to nourish us, but it can also nourish others too. But this is more about the self, you know, and ending cycles that um, break, that, that hold us captive in um, disassociating with anything other than what is best for us, you know, and making, uh, finding the wisdom within to make it real, realizing that wisdom within to make it real. Right at the bottom, we have we have strength card here as well too. So, you know, that Leo energy be strong. It um it definitely is always looking to support us and moving forward to encourage us to um, keep the faith and do the work, continue moving forward and taking those steps and shining your light. Like, be who you are, y'all. Do you? Ain't nobody told you today do you <laughs> so we have the tree of life for this week so really focusing on our roots being grounded within our self you know this can also be speaking to a connection to our ancestors recognizing the gifts it is that they have given to us the fruits it is that we bear based off of our lineage and what it is that we have of nourishment within that that can help us grow um, help us sprout help us bloom you know transformation taking place uh, in regards to how it is that we root ourselves within um, our own connection to ourself, um, within our connection to our families, to our world. So let's see what else is here, my rays. What energies do you have for us for this week of March 22nd to March 28th? beautiful sea creatures that give us so much insight into what it is that we cannot see what is here spirit from march 22nd to the 28th the mermaid's glove so we have the mermaid's glove here it says lose not a tide and waste no time so it is basically like no longer will you continue to not do anything other than what it is that you want to do you know do what is best for you what what are you being called to do she speaks of confidant so she is basically someone who this is, are people in your life that you can confide in confidently and says the mermaid's gloves a large sponge with branches resembling fingers predicts that someone may declare lasting faith to you like a glove in hand a close companion may become intimate with you finding something out that another does not expect presents a challenge to do battle with assured of not being beaten you accept the friendly contest because there is no other way around the matter you will be rewarded for performing a small kindness you may receive a high station by turning away from everyday reality and carrying out what order demands Something you are familiar with, you can easily do. You are a winner fit for any duel. So some competition may kind of come up this week. Um, we, again, may have to just make some choices in regards to how it is that we're going to be showing up. But we'll also be having those intimate relationships that we can really connect with and really support us. Um, but whatever comes to you, you got this. You don't have to worry about nothing. Just just focus on whatever needs to be done in order to in order uh, to just engage in the in the situation and the circumstance, whatever it is that that may be. So we're gonna pull a card for our relationships this week. We can look at this as a relationship card for ourselves, or we can look at this as relationship card for um, for those that we connect with or relationship to spirit. However you need to see this at this time, it's up to you. Let's see. So integrity, stay in your integrity this week and with those uh, that you connect with, even within yourself, um, don't, go, don't go against yourself for anything. Um, be honest with those it is that you connect with. Be true to you, be true, you know, just be you. Honestly, that's what integrity is about, like not self, not sacrificing yourself for um, 
anything, not selling yourself out, not selling yourself short. It says, I align with the center of myself, a glowing core of personal integrity emanating from this core is the knowledge that I never have to compromise who I am or what I want for anybody. I can live a life that doesn't include settling unless I want to settle in which case settling will be my idea of perfection and would cease to be considered settling a uh, paradox is heard and so yes um don't feel like you need to settle don't feel like you need to uh do if if you have to make a choice don't choose the settling version because you think that's all that's going to come to you because that's not the case I and mean, that may be what that mermaid's glove is talking about um in regards to some thought, somebody bringing something to you that you might have to do battle with, you know, not necessarily fight something, but you might, uh, you know, be going back and forth with something. And then the affirmation you have this week is options. I have options. As I open up to the abundant possibilities of my life's past, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like you can't put mac and cheese on your baked potato because it's a lot of that going around. Um, and yeah, so you, you get to choose. Stay within your integrity, within your choices. Um, connect with those who you feel like you can rely on and if you need any advice for them from them um, and don't feel like you have to go head to head with something that you don't necessarily work want to as well like you can walk away from anything it is that you want I don't have to tell y'all that <laughs> that's what I just heard you. you don't have to say that like I don't have to tell y'all that so y'all know y'all know okay let's see what is this so the crystal that we have this week, I see that. There we go. This light. Okay, this is a aphophilite. It says a aphophilite acts like a teleportion device to to place transcendent to places transcendent, often sourced sourced from enchanted India, birthplace of tantra yoga, Nag Champa. Aphophilite clears skepticism skepticism, cynicism, and logic from the spiritual path. Who needs it? Anyone looking for that ray of light from on high to hit them with something good. You put it in wherever you practice religion, meditate, or channel and pray. Use it when the spiritual life feels like a moving target. When you feel skeptical about your true purpose on earth, when you feel like your yeah, but thoughts are dishonoring the innermost. Beam yourself up, way up. Somebody call Scotty. All right. So, um, yeah, this is also about integrity, staying true to what it is that is for you, what it is that you want to do. Um, don't feel like you have to yeah, but it. If you got to yeah, but it. Uh, it mm, will possibly put you out of a sense of integrity. <clears throat> so we have a season card. I believe this is winter. Let me see. Yeah, I think this is winter. And this winter card speaks of rest. So you, we have this hermit card on Sunday. So definitely take some time to, you know, just put yourself in a space where you uh, create an open field to be able for things to come through so that you can fully see, fully grasp what it is that you're experiencing, what is there, you know, what it is that you are feeling and all of that. Um, take time to rest when you need it. Don't feel like you have to overextend yourself by any means and always know that there's always enough time. Okay. And then what else do you have for a spirit? What would you like to leave us with? What do the comedic gods have to say for us today? For this week of March 27th, 22nd to the 28th. Let's see. Mm. So we have new moon here. So the wheel is turning. The new moon, can y'all see that? Just barely, 
Lord. So this is an ace of feathers. So this is about order and harmony and um, and really finding balance within your life. This is the new moon. So this is the wheel of fortune. Something new is coming to you this week, um, whether that's in relationships, whether that is in work. Regardless, whatever it is, you are planting seeds um, to be able to really move forward, setting new intentions. You're starting something new. Um, you have unlimited possibilities here. I'll put this in front of my face so that y'all can see that. Have unlimited possibilities. Plant the seeds of your future dreams. Preparation for a new cycle um, following a period of latency. So things are picking up. Um, so it's almost as if you're, we are coming out of this state of rest and, and recognizing what plans seem to be set in motion, you know, and, and just seeing the, the truth and the up and ups and downs of life. You know, we start out the week with that unlimited potential, you know, the fool. <laughs> We started the week with that unlimited potential and that is carrying us throughout the rest of the week through the connections that we have, through these shifts in our mindset and um, recognizing this journey we're on and seeing that wisdom within, recognizing who it is that we are, you guys, okay, and um, really embracing that. So I hope that this was helpful. Make sure that you just trust your path as you move forward in life and um, keep the faith. Uh, stay strong. If you need somebody to lean on, do that. Stay open-hearted. Stay open to the abundance and the possibilities that are coming in and flooding your life because if you don't, you might miss them, okay? So I love y'all and I hope y'all have a beautiful week and I will see y'all on the rest of these spring equinox videos. Love y'all.